Hi, this video is on how to add the drivers and software for the CanoScan IDE 25. Um, if you request it, I could drop it on your T drive so that I'll put a CS25 folder right on your H or your T drive, depending on what it's called for you, uh, where you can just double click on that and then run the setup there uh, for the scanner. Just say yes, install, next, and uncheck the stuff you don't need. All you need is the CanoScan toolbox. Click install, yes, install, and it's going to run through and start doing the install procedure for the Cano scan. Next, next, next. Next again on the new software and you're getting this Scano, Cano scan toolbox and all the drivers set up for you uh, so that you can use the Cano scan 25. So now it's installed so if I want to, oh no, not not all the way done. There we go. Now I'm all the way done. And we don't need to register the software. It's done and it says you have to restart the system in order for the scanner to work correctly. And I'll have to stop the video in order to do the restart. But then this Cano scan, I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete the shortcut to the manual here on my desktop. Uh, the Cano, did I delete both of them? <sighs> no, I didn't. Where's the Cano scan? There it is, moved. Okay, there we go. So now if I use the CanoScan software, I'm not sure if it's going to work. There we go. It gives me the ability to open that up and say I want to make a scan. I can set up what these scan settings are in the settings. And you can see, you can set the quality all the way up to 600 docs per inch, which is uh, pretty good. You can say where it's going to go to. And then you just hit the apply. And now the scan button, every time I do that with that scan one setting, will be at that quality. It's going to be a color multi-scan. It's going to up, update the file name as it goes to a JPEG file. And you have other options there as well as what kind of file you want to use. But that's it for using, installing and using this scanner uh, on any device we've got at school.